thinking. Alrighty, well, welcome everyone <laughs> to our study abroad breakout session. My name is Brooke Leahy and I'm the coordinator of Study Away at SUNY Plattsburgh. Today we are also joined by Ellen Miller, our graduate assistant. So between the two of us, we make up the Study Away team on campus. We work with students who are looking to study abroad or to study it within the U.S. through our National Student Exchange Program. We're super excited you're here today to listen to our presentation. Um, of course, this is interactive, so please feel free to pop any questions you might have into the chat, and Ellen will be sure to answer those. Um, we also have this nice Google form for you to fill out that Ellen will also put in there, and this is a great way to stay connected with us that will reach out to you after today. So that way, um, if you have any questions, we can answer those and be a little bit more specific to what you might be considering with study abroad. So why should you study abroad? Why should you consider this opportunity? Um, there's lots of different reasons. We've listed a few here. Um, the first we have is learn a new language. So whether English is your first language or not, this is a great opportunity for you to either in an academic set setting, learn a new language, or if you just have an interest in another language, this might um, also be a great opportunity to make connections. So um, it's really big throughout your time at Plattsburgh. We talk a lot about making connections and how those connections are really going to help you in the future with what you might be looking to do career-wise and after you graduate from Plattsburgh. Um, as students who are not yet enrolled in university, it might not be at the forefront of your mind, but um, the four years go by super quick. So you wanna make sure you're making great connections throughout who can help um, propel you into what you're looking to do. Gain valuable culture experience. So um, there's so many different cultures to experience, not only throughout the world, but also within the US. We talk a lot about um, helping our students become global citizens, um, having an understanding for other cultures and other things beyond just ourselves. Um, so this is a great opportunity to do that. Um, develop creative problem solving skills. So studying away might be the first time that you um, buy a plane ticket, that you travel on a plane. Um, you might have to obtain a student visa. You might have to um, navigate a train system in another language. So, so many different things that'll happen to you throughout your experience that are not necessarily um, learned in the classroom, that having this experience will really allow you to develop those problem solving skills. Um, boost your resume. So it's really important that we talk about after you return from study away, um, how to put it on your resume, how to use it in an interview setting, and really how you can use this experience as an advantage when looking for jobs and when working with employers. Um, so kind of before we go any further, um, I do wanna talk about the opportunities that you have as a SUNY student. Um, so, as a SUNY student, you can study on other SUNY programs and whether you're a new traveler or um, you know, somebody who has traveled quite a bit, there are definitely programs for you. Um, so for example, um, on the next slide, you'll see that we have different, um, sorry, second slide. You'll see that we have um, different programs ranging from 10 days to full academic year. So you can do a short-term study away program with other SUNY schools, um, or you can do um, a full semester, full academic year, or summer or winter program. Right now, SUNY advertises programs in over 70 different countries. Um, we have every different type of study abroad. So you can study abroad, um, the classic studying at another institution, gaining credit, um, for classes that you need here at Plattsburgh, internships abroad, or even field work. So if you're in a major that you might want to do, you know, like archaeology or anthropology, where you really want to get in the research of your field, this might be a really great opportunity. Um, so this link here, as this will be shared with you after today, will show you what it's like um, to use the SUNY um, page. So this is really nice jumping point to say, oh, I'm really interested in going to maybe Costa Rica. And you can check out here, it looks like there might be three 
programs within SUNY that you could um, check out. Um, I always tell students this isn't always the most up to date and accurate, so it's a great starting point, but you always want to look at the actual SUNY schools page. So for example, Cortland or Geneseo to see if the program is still running. Um, which we can also help you with and make sure that you're on the right track. So beyond that, we also like to talk about Plattsburgh programs and what we have at Plattsburgh here to offer you. We have about 15 or 16 different programs a year um, that includes full semester and summer term and some faculty led programs once or twice a year. Um, I like to dive in a little bit to each program just to get an idea of what, um, is, what is offered and through each of these programs. Um, in Spain, we have um, a language and culture program as well as a business program. In the UK, we have four programs. They're all super comprehensive. They're exchange programs, which means they're super affordable. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that after, um, but you could probably find anything you're studying here. Um, in France, we have a business program with a little bit of language and culture mixed in, also an exchange program. We are also recently have partnered with Semester at Sea, so this is a brand new partnership for us this year. Um, we're super excited. Uh, this allows SUNY students the opportunity to go on Semester at Sea if you're not familiar with this program. Um, it's a floating campus, um, so you're on a ship for the full semester visiting 10 to 14 different countries, taking classes on the ship, and then having that time in ports at different countries to yourself with a few different field excursions while you're there. Um, so usually you sail for just about just over 100 days, a typical semester length of time. Um, in Canada, we have two different options. We have a program um, with the University of um, Chikudami, which is an opportunity to do a French language immersion, immersion program, or we have an exchange program with um, the Killam Fellowship. Our Killam Fellows would have an opportunity to study at one of 17 universities on exchange, so very affordable. You also get paid to go on this program. You get about a $5,000 scholarship to offset any housing costs or things like that. In Australia, we have four programs. We have one business school, and in um, Sydney itself, we have University of New South Wales, a very big campus that is in Sydney as well. Um, University of Queensland in Brisbane, also a large campus um, in Queensland. And then we have you know, um, Bond University, which is right on the Gold Coast. You're about a 10 minute walk from the beach. So that tends to be really popular with our students as well. Um, besides our business school, all three universities would be pretty comprehensive no matter what you're studying. Um, in Japan, we have an exchange program. It is a business program or an open studies and English program with also some Japanese culture and language opportunities as well. Um, and then lastly, in China, we have a business program. Um, if you're joining us, feel free to pop into the chat what your major is or maybe what where you're thinking you might want to study. And we can definitely give you a little bit more information in that context if you if you feel like you'd like to do that. Um, just so you get an idea, this is our Plattsburgh page for our study abroad and exchange programs. Um, so this would give you all the information related to academics, housing, your cost, what the application is like, all, all things related that way. All right, so next up, I want to talk about National Student Exchange. And before I do so, I'll play this video, which I think gives a good overview and um, tells you a little bit more about the program. So enjoy. Hopefully sound works. Thank <laughs> you. 
system. So hopefully that gave you a little bit of an idea of what NSC is like or the opportunities that you would have through NSC. So a little bit logistics wise, what NSC is. Um, NSC is the opportunity to study within the US, Canada, Guam, Puerto Rico, or the US Virgin Islands. Um, you can study for a semester, a full academic year, and we've recently added summer term as well. Um, there are a limited number of universities that are available for summer, um, but right now there are about um, just, just about 170 plus um, campuses in the consortium. What's really great about this program is that it's super affordable. You would pay um, the tuition that you are currently, that you would be paying to Plattsburgh to go on this program. So you get to go out of state for the price that you pay to Plattsburgh, which is typically in-state tuition, um, and then any of your campus fees. Your housing costs will always be paid to your host institution. So of course that could be more or less than what you would typically pay at Plattsburgh. And it depends on location. Um, as you can see, Hawaii is an example. So we always let students know that might be a more expensive destination versus somewhere else, maybe within the continental US. Um, but this is a great opportunity. If you're looking for a stepping stone, you might not be ready for full study abroad or to be halfway across the world, but you're willing to go somewhere within the US or Canada. Um, it's a great way to check out graduate schools, um, which seems like maybe a really far time from now. But if you're considering, you know, oh, I'd love to live in California one day or maybe in Texas, this is a great way to check it out for a short amount of time without fully committing. Um, as I mentioned, there are interactive um, pages that we have throughout the presentation that will be available to you, but you can be able to take a look at these at our flyers, get a little bit more information um, and look at um, some of the uh, students who have recently gone on NSC and, and see what, what, what their um, opportunities were like. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So moving on, um, study abroad, we like to definitely talk about cost when thinking about study abroad. It is a financial investment. Um, so as I mentioned before, we do have exchange programs. And what that means is that you're exchanging with another student from that university. So you would pay your tuition and fees just as you typically would to Plattsburgh. And then similar to NSC, you would pay your housing costs to your host institution. What's really nice are th these programs are very similar to a cost um, of a semester at Plattsburgh. Um, with that, you do also have scholarship opportunities. So if you are a Plattsburgh student on a Plattsburgh program, you would have the opportunity to apply to one of our scholarships, which we offer about $5,000 um, a semester. Um, usually we award multiple students in all different um, amounts. So anywhere maybe from like $500 to up to $2,000. If you do receive any financial aid um, like TAP, Pell, North Country Scholarship, Excelsior, things like that. Those should travel with you as long as you're still meeting the requirements that you need to while you're abroad and when you return. Um, so whether it's a financial um, requirement or GPA or that kind of thing. Um, we also have an, a scholarship sheet attached to this presentation. So you can definitely take a look at that or it's also available on our website. And as I mentioned at the beginning, please feel free to um, write any questions or anything like that you might have into the chat. So if we've piqued your interest and you're curious at all um, about study abroad or study abroad at Plattsburgh, we encourage you to follow us on Instagram, add us on Snapchat, uh, like us on Facebook. We try to keep these social media channels up to date. Um, right now we do not have any students abroad, so you won't see a takeover on the Snapchat, but we do have a few saved to our highlight reel on Instagram from some students who have gone um, in the past. So that's a great way to see from a student's perspective what it's it's like to actually go abroad and be able to see them um, in the moment when they were doing those. Um, so from there, I do like to talk a little bit about our students. Um, if we were in person today, we would probably have a couple students at our table with us talking to you about their time um, abroad and what it was like. So these are two of our global education mentors or GEMS as we refer to them, Olivia and Leah. Olivia went through a Plattsburgh program at Keele University in England. Leah went through SUNY Brockport to University of Sydney in Australia. Um, so Olivia is an international and bus uh, international business and marketing major. And what was really great after her spring semester at Keele, um, she applied to a summer internship and she talks a lot about how her time in, in the UK really helped her in that interview setting. And she really talked a lot about it in the interview and feels like it was a big reason as to why she landed her internship. Um, 
Leah talks about how this was like a life-changing experience for her and how she really had a, lo a lot of good memories and a lot of wonderful trips while she was in Australia. Um, she is in our BAMST five years um, education program. Typically it's a tough major to study abroad for a full semester, but she planned ahead and went during her spring of sophomore year, which is exactly the semester to go if you are in this program. Um, and now she's actually thinking about doing um, the Australia Student Teaching Program through SUNY Cortland, who we're partnered with, which would allow for her to do a 13 week trip in Australia to do one of her placements for her degree. So super cool opportunity and definitely studying abroad once has influenced her to study abroad, hopefully twice. So if you're interested, here are kind of some next steps. Um, when you get to campus, we would encourage you to meet with our office as soon as possible. Um, we tell students that the earlier you plan ahead, the better off you are when planning your study abroad. It's really great if you can go early to do some gen eds and do some electives and do some fun courses. So um, we've had students go to Italy and take like the history and um, of making chocolate or a camping course in Australia for a full week and that satisfied their natural sciences requirement. Um, so you would definitely meet with us. We'll help you look for programs, answer any questions you might have about cost or courses, anything like that. Um, and if you're thinking a different SUNY program, we'd also help you there. Um, as for the application process, there are a multiple number of things you'll need to apply. Um, we can always talk about that when you're there, but I do let students know you do apply almost a full semester in advance and sometimes even earlier, depending on the program. So that's why planning ahead is great because if you're gonna go your sophomore year, maybe fall semester, you'd apply during your first year. So it does come up quick. As for post-decision, we call it, or when you go abroad, um, we will do a pre-departure orientation that prepares you on what to pack, how to use your health insurance abroad, um, what's 911 in another country. Um, so all the things, all the fun things, but all the serious things that you'll need to know before you go. Um, so we're with you every step of the way. Um, with that, uh, I'll encourage you one more time to fill out our Google form. Um, I also will maybe give Ellen a minute if she'd like to, to talk about her experience. Um, Ellen is a um, graduate student now at Plattsburgh, but she was an undergrad as well here and had a great experience in England. So Ellen, if you wanna talk a little bit about that. Yes, hello. Um, so as Brooke said, my name is Ellen Meller, graduate assistant here, but um, I did my undergrad at Plattsburgh and I studied abroad the second semester of my sophomore year. So um, almost three years ago, now that I think about it, which is a bit weird. But um, I went to the University of East Anglia in Norwich, England. Um, it's actually one of our exchange partners. So I did study abroad through Plattsburgh and it definitely gave me like, um, quick and easy access to like walk in the office and ask like, hey, I have a question. So that was definitely beneficial for me. Um, and it was a great experience. And in terms of like finances, because I know that a lot of people worry about that, I was able to get scholarships and use my financial aid, which um, it paid for my flight ticket, which was really cool. And it also helped fund some of my adventures. So I traveled around Scotland and Ireland, which was really fun. And I um, went like up and down England, which was really cool. So it was definitely fulfilling in that aspect. But I think that when people go abroad, they have um, they have something that they take away from it. And for me, my most important takeaway from my experience was meeting my best friend. So I still keep in contact with her to this day. She's five hours ahead of me and I bug her when it's like 3 a.m. over there. And she's like, oh my God, what are you doing? I'm trying to sleep. But um, I know that it comes from a sense of endearment. So I guess, for my experience, it was it was definitely about the people I met and I could tell that the people, like not only my best friend, but like my flatmates and people in my classes, like um, they had a big impact on, I guess, like my development as a student because it was the first time I've been exposed to so many different people from all different walks of life and all in one go. Um, it was definitely kind of like a, like a, a soul searching moment for me. And a lot of students, when they say, oh, I studied abroad and it changed my life, it's it's common, but um, I always like to say that it's common for a reason. So um, yeah, I do hope that, I'm glad that you're here and that you're considering studying abroad. So I do hope to hopefully see you at Plattsburgh and in the office sometime. 
Thank you. Thanks, Ellen. Awesome. So that's kind of, oh, I didn't do that, but that's the end of our presentation. So um, we will be here for a couple more minutes to answer questions. Otherwise, our next session will start at 1.15.